Hi, this is Chris Charles with Everyday VBA, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to save a macro-enabled workbook. Now, if you've ever recorded a macro or written down a macro, you'll notice that if you go to save it in the default Excel file format, it'll actually give you an error. It's going to yell at you. So I'm going to show you real quickly on how to do that. It's pretty simple. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to record a macro. Now, you can come in here and go to View and then type Record. You can either click that or click down here, but if we record a macro, we're going to call this Add Sheet. Now, you can't have a space in here. It's going to yell at you, too. You'll notice that I have my Visual Basic Editor open. If you hit Alt F11, it'll open this. And if you look at your book, so you've got Book 1, Book 1, and you'll notice a module is created. So once you have a module in here or a user form or a class, you're not going to be able to save it in the stand standard format. So you're going to need to go to File and go Save As and click anywhere in your computer. Now you'll notice that by default it's going to pull at this top one. Now if we click on this, it's going to give us an error that says, hey, wait a sec, I have a VB project. Now you'll notice that VB project shows up here. It's going to say, hey, you've, you've got some macros going on here. If you save it in this file format, we're not going to save your macro. So it's really simple. Just click No. If you come down here, you're going to click Macro Enabled Workbook. You're going to click OK. I'm just going to name this uh, Macro Enabled. Click OK. And I am good to go. You'll notice that the error doesn't show up. It's really that simple. Hope this is helpful. I've got the instructions in here. I'm also going to include the link to where this information, where I got this information. Hope you enjoyed.